From Jet 24, here's meteorologist Tom DeVecchio, your weather authority. Hey, good evening to you all. Craig with a weekend off, and uh, maybe he went boating. Who knows? Uh, but some people have on our Channel Lock weather cam, as you can see. Uh, we do have uh, boats out and about on a pretty uh, nice looking day. Now, some clouds have come in and a couple of showers trying to get from those clouds, but no lightning. And again, this is our Channel Lock weather cam looking on the long axis of Conneaut Lake, uh, looking pretty decent for this morning. And in the meantime, uh, temperatures around the area, uh, not quite as warm as what we thought. Uh, a lot of 70s here. Dr. Tom Nag up here at 70, 76 Penn State Bear. And uh, North Harbor Creek, Brian has 73, 75 over in French Creek, 73 for Liz and Corey, Union City. Uh, Carol has 72, same over in Edinburgh. Lori with that temperature. McCain a little warmer at 77. Out toward Crawford County. Uh, Cambridge Springs 74, Sagertown and Meadville both at 78. And uh, as we check out, Saybrook has uh, 78, 73 in Youngsville, 72 over at Chandler's Valley. Gene, I got to, forgot to move your temp up. Gene in Scandia, which is up here. Sorry about that, Gene. Almost at 70 degrees. Now, dew points, uh, we finally got above 60 here in Erie, but this is hardly uh, a muggy day, but uh, you can feel the humidity. It's a little bit to higher up there. Uh, dew points farther inland, the mid to upper 60s. Again, underperforming here. Uh, we expected everyone to at least be above 60, and uh, the low this morning was 68. High today was 78 degrees. Both well above the normal, 70 and 52. 87, the record high, set way back over a century ago in 1902. And not too long ago, 2006, we had our record low of 35. Uh, we actually managed a trace of precipitation. And as you can see uh, for uh, the season here, we are still well below normal, almost five inches below normal in uh, precipitation. So uh, we really have a long way to go. On the lake for tomorrow, maybe doing fishing perhaps, uh, not bad. Keep your eye on the sky in the afternoon for uh, some possible storms and could be a little choppy out there. West winds 10 to 15, waves will be from one to three feet. So high pressure, we've been looking at it. Uh, this high set, uh, settled in the Tennessee Valley. So moisture had to go all the way around that high, traveling through Ontario, and then finally making its way into the region. A lot of this is not reaching the ground. And uh, as we uh, check things out later, you see tonight a uh, couple of showers uh, may uh, be uh, coming out of that system, but nothing big time here. Now, during the afternoon, here comes the next front, but just not all that impressive. Maybe a quick thunderstorm, perhaps, as it moves on by. Then uh, Sunday night to Monday, you see some showers, possible storms, uh, as uh, that front kind of meanders around the region, really for the rest of the week. And for tonight, patchy clouds, chance of showers, uh, lows tonight in the middle to upper 60s. Uh, on the inland side, uh, you're going to have partly cloudy skies, chance of a few showers, maybe a rumble of thunder, lower 60s. Chautauqua, Laganey area uh, will have uh, partly to mostly cloudy temperatures in the upper 50s to the lower 60s. Partly cloudy for tomorrow, chance of afternoon storms, highs in the lower 80s, and chance of showers and storms again for tomorrow night. And from your weather authority, with that front hanging around, uh, you, you almost have to put a chance in each day. But uh, no washouts expected here. Uh, better chances appear to be on Monday uh, and perhaps uh, Wednesday, based on what we're seeing right now. Uh, but uh, that could change uh, at almost any time, so something that we will be watching.